There it is. It's live. Bingo. Here we are. <laughs> we welcome. That. Welcome, everyone. This is a channeling from Kim. And this is Alma Talk channeling. And today is... Should I give your time or my time? Because it's actually... Yep. Yes, my time. Known by everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually um, today is May the twenty first, I believe, mm -hmm. two thousand and fifteen, and we are ha having a a session with uh, Ama Talk and Indu and whoever else shows up. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So. I will bid you all farewell and I'll see you soon. Hello, hello. Hello, it's Brian. Brian. It's Indu. Hello, Indu. Hello, how are you? Good, good. Ah, wonderful. And your your civilization is it more? How do you say? Is it more from a uh, Palladian? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Please. We describe, describe ourselves as known as Palladians. Yes, yes. Yes. We are hybridization. However, we are mostly a Palladian DNA. Okay, okay. Yes. Because yes. the Palladian the Palladian DNA is most that's more the manifested spiritual that helped uh, humanity. Here on this planet, yeah. Yeah. Uh, long ago, we have Anunnaki, and then I think more recently, the Pleiadians, the past hundred thousand years or fifty thousand years, really helped upstep the evolution, the spiritual growth of yeah. humanity. Yes, yes, because we are most relatable to humans. Yes, that that is the reason. Over your history. We have actually made contact many times. This is well known. Yes. At times it has been without any resistance, as you well know now. It is a different world you live on. So yes. resistance and confinement and rules and regulations, yes, we must obey at this time. Your, your tradition, your culture, how do you say greeting? So I, when I approach you, I'm not... Um, you know, I'm not going to be offensive or anything, but yeah. just to be open, do I put my hands up like Spock? Do I say greetings? You know what I mean? It's just something nice, a gesture of, of, of love and respect. Yes. I would suggest to you, particularly in front of Logan. Yes. Let it remain a human handshake. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yes. This would be more appropriate, and it is a lovely experience for us also. We do not often get to practice this yes. idea. Please, please yes. if you feel appropriate, take mental pictures, and if you are aware of someone who has the ability to effectively create a very similar image on paper, yes, that would be fun. Then please, yes, go yes. ahead and use this as your photo. Yes. Just, yeah. just, just to feel that presence of the Pleiadian, I, 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 it reminds me of home sometimes. So it's going to be, <laughs> it's a wonderful feeling, you know? <gasps> yes, you have exciting. been Palladian. Oh, yes. 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 Many of you have. But, but the Palladian species is actually a very popular one for incarnation and evolution. Yes. Yeah. See, I, I love this Indu because it helps me um, and how we're speaking like this, it puts my mind and heart at ease that we can approach each other like this, you know, 
and a very yeah. friendly exchange, a very grounded exchange. And that yeah. helps break down the barriers and the walls of the unknown. So I thank you yeah. so much. This helps. The one one quick question again. The female, what what is her name again? Melita. 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 She Melita. also visits with Rowi. Okay, yes, yes. However, she is a colleague of Endu myself. Okay. Uh, and she is also part of what Kim amusingly finds. Uh, what we call Kim's fan club. <laughs> it is a human fan club. However, Kim has come to us and taught us much, and we enjoy when she allows us to channel dance with her. Uh, we enjoy yes. her music. And right. how does rhythm affect you? We we understand how rhythm affects our vibration. It will be it wonderful is. to have an experience of how music affects your vibration. Yes, there are certain music and tones and sounds makes us it uplifts us to be able to move side to side. We yes. we we dance. We yes we in some of the slower songs, what we call music, we get more intimate with a partner or a friend. We hold yes. them close to us. Yes. Yes. Yes, we have noticed this. Yes. This is actually in your history books. You yes. have gone through many stages of what you would call dance. Yes, yes. It is very interesting because the whole idea of the movement to the music, somehow yes. the relationship is built. Now, I give you the idea of the 1920s music. And, and the Charleston, yes. the Charleston yes. dance. Yes. That's one of my favorite uh, dances to watch. The, the ah, movement. lovely. Very quick, yes. Upbeat. Yes, yes. And the clothing and the, and the headwear and the movement. It is such a vast difference to something that you would call burlesque. Yes, yes. Burlesque is fascinating. I enjoy burlesque very much. It yes. is a feminine energy and yes. it is very sensual. And we have learned about sensuality through this kind of dance. Yes. It's very seductive. Yes. yes. And then there is your wondrous waltzes. What a vast yes. difference. <laughs> In vibration, the in response, hmm. and yet all dances at this point in your time are all an offer to be learned. You know, it's funny you say this. I kind of want to once I I meet you guys. I, I it's kind of funny, but I it seems like I would just I would dance with you right then and there. Yes. <laughs> oh yes, we dance. We dance. Yes. Yes. Yes, hmm. we have. We have favorite songs. Yes. Because they are called favorite songs. Yes. And at times she will play them for us. We yes. dance. She she allows us to come in and we dance. And <laughs> it is such fun. And sometimes she says, Can we please stop now? Because I am very hot. <laughs> and we drink and then we say okay and we wait and we yes. wait and we wait and then suddenly <laughs> she will want to dance <laughs> and so off we go I, I, but the wonderful thing about dancing is it frees the body more it's it's a <gasps> Such yes. a freedom of the body, physically. The human body dancing. Mm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it, it's it's neat to watch too, and especially what you call these competitions and the the, the movement between the man, the energy between the man and the woman, 
mm. or, or woman and woman or man and man. It doesn't matter. It's, it's a mm. flow of confluence of energy. And it, it's so beautiful to watch. Like one takes the lead and the one follows. And then it turns around and the one leads and the other follows. You know, it's yes, just, it's, yes. a, it's like, it's a beautiful movement of swaying. Yes. Movement. yes. I, w I would like to share this with you. Yes. When the idea first came to Kim about channel dancing, because she does resonate very highly with music. Yes. And uh, the idea of channel dancing came to her from another deliverer on your planet. And it was early days for our visitations. It was before Alma Top joined us. And yes. before Empora joined us also, it was myself and Parak who were the first to do the channel dancing. Wow. Initially, when she would play music and we would make deliberate effort to create a dance movement, she only allowed me to use her upper body. Yes. She, she would even sit at times to ensure that I would not engage her legs. <laughs> <laughs> she still wanted some control. <laughs> yes, she did. And yes. so she began to play music and I learned wondrous moves. Yes. And then she said, I may use her legs. Yes. And I don't know how. <laughs> so I am I am trying and sometimes she trips. Yes. And and that's okay because we are learning how to steady her. Um, yes. I was gonna ask you that. When you guys are on the ships and when you're moving energy through Kim, um how do you is it more of a machinery or is it more of your strong telepathy? How do you how do you move the body, animate the body? It is energy. Yes. Yes. Vibration. Yes. Oh. Telepathy. Telepathy is effective in identifying music that resonates with Kim and also with us. Yes. Yes. This is how we come to our favorite songs. Ah, okay. Yes. And she now has a playlist that yes. is especially for us. Yes. And she has a playlist that is especially for Parrot. And yes. she has a playlist that is especially for her. Well, that's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And so often she likes to channel dance before she is going to channel one of us. <laughs> to get used to the energies. Yes, it raises her. It lifts yes. her because she feels it so deeply and very yes. telepathically. Yes. And this is why we are so drawn to join her. <laughs> it's wonderful. Fun. Yes, it's anything to help Kim up uplift that energy of hers and 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 that's a wonderful thing it's brilliant uh, anu because it, it's it's it brings such a strong resonance for her to feel more comfortable to allow more yes 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 thank you brian yes she's doing very well we we watch her she questions yes. herself at times and they are unwarranted she should lighten up <laughs> and she will, and through you, and play. That's the thing, yes. is make it as playful as possible. Yes. She has yeah. a saying that she repeats to herself. Angels fly because they take themselves lightly. <laughs> and this Got resonates Got with it. her. So sometimes she reminds herself of that. Yes. 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 So yes. We have fun and we look forward to analyzing your vibration in music we will offer to you. Yes. I'm, I'm very we may build a favorite playlist also. <laughs> 
Now, yeah. the third party yes. was the one that involved your spirit realm. Yes. Who knows? They needed yeah. to be addressed on this also. This yes. actually uh, was a decision, decision that had already been pre-made and perhaps this is what you call premonition. Yes. Pre, yes, precognition. It's like yes. it's happened before, but it's been from a multi-dimensional point of view, yes. not a singularity. Yes. 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 It's the flashback of the moment. Yes. Uh, yes. And many who have visited, and sadly some of those have been abductees, and they meet in groups and share their experiences when they have personal memory. There is generally somebody who runs these groups who intuitively understands the experience. Does not necessarily mean it has occurred in their lifetime presently. However, they have an innate knowledge of this because they do have some subconscious memory and they have come through into this life with the agreement that they will provide support for any that were distressed or any that simply wish to share their stories. When I'm outside, if it's late at night sometimes, how do you guys hear me? Do I just out loud a little bit say, hello there? What, who do I call upon for to make that, for you, the ship to pick up my voice or that vibration? What do I say? Like, hello, Endu, or yes. how, what is it? Yes. Endu, can you hear me? Okay. Endu, I'm calling you in. And direct it, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. It will become a vibration. Yes. The request will become a vibration and a frequency, and it will flow to your atmosphere, and it will reach me. Okay, okay. Yes. Uh, if, if you wait for response, please allow about seven of your minutes. Okay, yes, I will wait. Patient. Once yes. that is established, we may yes. have some kind of psychic and telepathic oh, realization yes. at the time. And it yes. also depends the size of the ship we are using in that area at that okay. time. The okay. other thing I will share with you is that if we hear that request and there is another species of ship in that area that may yes. uh, simulate this experience and yes. they are willing, then they will do it for us. However, understand it has come from our request. Yes, yes. As there are many Yayo ships that are actually much smaller than ours at this time. Okay. So it may come from a Yayo kind of ship. You will okay. not know the difference, however. Um, is there... Are you allowed to describe your lights on the ships, like underneath, or any of the any signs that you can give me, or like a bluish, what, the lights that give off? Are you allowed to that? Is it an orange ball? Is it bluish, whitish? That varies. It varies on varies? the okay. temperature. Yes. Yes. The temperature, the atmospheric pressure, the humidity. Okay frequencies in the area yes that each color has a different purpose and sometimes there needs to be a multitude of color yes where i'm located right now um in indiana it's the the temperatures right now it's cold right now but it'll get up to about uh the next week and the week after it'll be in the 70s mostly what we call seven degrees yes. Fahrenheit. And yes. at nights it might stay in the fifties or sixty degrees. Yes. So it'll be in that range at night. Yes. yes. So it will be fairly stable. Stable, yes. Yes. Yes, that that makes it a tad easier. Yes. You may see uh, uh, a a combination of hues that may look to you as a violet, a light violet color yes uh there will be blues um 
blue energy moving around within the violet. Okay, okay. If, if, yes. if, if it is ideal at that point in time, the atmosphere and all the other variables, then this is the light color that you will see. Okay, okay. There is something else that you may notice, not many humans do, but yes. there is a sensation of smell. It okay, is not uh, something that we as Palladians experience. However, we understand that at times the humans may utilize their noses Yes. And register to the frontal lobe that there is an alteration in this smell. Yes. It, it is quite amusing <laughs> <laughs> because we find some of them do not seem to react well to it. I, I, I've, I've done this a long time ago. I've had a sensation where uh, a flower, like a, a smell of a certain flower or fragrance, <clears throat> what we call fragrance uh, in my nose, but yet there's no no flower around. You know, yeah. there's no not that flower. There's a certain vibration. It is a vibration, which is amazing, but it's a, a yes. smell. Yes. That is generally spirit. Yes. Yes. It is often a lovely message shared with you. Interesting. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. There would be some significance in the thing. Whether you would be aware of that or not, it's something that is up to your memory. Yes. The fact that you actually experience the smell. A couple of times, yes. Yes, and it is pleasant to you. Yes. Then it is a loving gesture from your spirit realm. Ah, okay. Yes. Wow. This is interesting. Mm, yeah, yeah I, I'm trying to cover all the bases here of what other things may come up. But um, there was another question I wanted to ask you. Let's see, the time, the place, um, the atmosphere, um, the moment, the knowingness, that, that strong gut feeling of something's here, you know, just that to, to yeah, get me to go outside. Yes, a sh mm -hmm. like in the flash, in the, a bright flash something that would catch my attention. Mm -hmm. yes. This has happened to me many a times. I've, I've, I've seen orange orbs of light in the sky uh, back in the year 2008. So a good, yeah, many yeah. years ago. So I, I'm used to the ships. I mean, I, I know yes. I can sense sometimes when they're around, I get this gut feeling in the gut or the solar plexus. Um, and then there's like the light, a bright light shining at the window, like an orange scanning, like the open up part of the ship, and they pinpoint and they scan down on the house, mm -hmm. and they scanned it. Mm -hmm. So it's like I I, 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 know of that, but then I've heard it was reptilian energies. <laughs> it can't be, which is fine, which is fine. So yeah, it's fine. I'm getting used to Grindel. I'm getting used to the other reptilian energies. <laughs> May I share this with you? Perhaps you will find it a little reassuring. If there are reptilian races that are showing interest in the human race and not necessarily have the well-being of the human race at heart, they tend to expose themselves unwittingly quite early. Ah, okay. They tend to work outside the bounds of the contract because they are oblivious to the contract. Right. And right. as such, because we are all on such high alert amongst each other, working as a team to ensure that there is no breach of contract, when yes. this happens, these, these reptilians may be removed. Okay. So most often, before any human becomes aware that there is this kind of reptilian presence, yes, they will simply be removed quickly and efficiently. Okay. And to a distance that they may not return. Right. Right. Yes. 
So when you come down in the ships, you do scan that whole area really, really well, thoroughly. Yes, and, yes. and it also depends on different agreements made with different governments. So it's necessary for us to know if there yes. is a legal delegation on the earth within, within the government, so perhaps even in a mundane job, um, that, that we know where everybody is. And this is all part of the contract also. The fact that there is aliens amongst the governments at the moment, it is an element of a trustful exercise. Okay. They okay. must work within the confines very strictly. Yes. Because essentially, they are representing the races that will be in contact with you on a regular basis in the future. Yes. So they are watching closely both by Earth and the aliens. Yes. It's very important. I understand. So we are aware at all times where each is and what each is doing. Yes. As you would a human. It, it helps. It's helping build that level of trust with each other. Yes. And it has to yes. build a, a level of trust. Yes. Yes. That is the exercise. Yes, I think somebody else may like to come to speak with you, Brian. Yes, that would be wonderful, my friend. Well, thank you, Indu. I much love and appreciation for the sharing this. Yes. Yes. Yes, you are welcome. Much love, Say thank Brian. Thank you for all that you do for this planet. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I will relay that back. Thank you. Uh, I think I may bring him back first. Okay, yes, to give her a drink. Yes, mm, yes. Okay. That would be good. Much love, my friend. Much love. Namaste. Namaste. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Good. I'm just, wow, this is a lot of information for me. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Wow. I'm <laughs> uh, I can feel really, I, I feel really excited too. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like Christmas is coming or something when you're a kid. <laughs> Yes, yes. Um, it's the, like right. anticipating. Yes. I I feel this might be Perak. So let's wait and see, huh? Okay. Can you hear me okay? He's needed yes. to I'm good. I'm good. All right. Hello. Hello, dear friend. This is Brian. I am Brian. Brian. Hello. I am Parekh from the Honorable Yayao. Oh, nice to meet you, my friend. Yes. 
And to you. Thank you. We overheard your recent conversation. <laughs> we would like to just simply come to say that we watch over the grid and we watch your sector very carefully. Thank you. Okay. Thank yes. you. There, there are millions of sectors around yes. your planet which we observe individually and also as a collective. Yes, yes. yes. You understand that idea? Okay. Yes. yes. This is one reason why we often have a smaller size ship because it requires us to move quickly at times yes. to various parts of the planet where we are okay. monitoring the light grids. And this is one reason why Andrew suggested perhaps it will be us who will fly okay. to you. Yes, yes. If this be the case, please be reassured. Yes, it was wonderful. I, I, I love to know that in advance. It helps the psyche of the human to be more relaxed. Yes. yes. Wait, are you aware of this A little bit. I believe so. Um, on the, uh, the bottom halves of the ship, um, underneath what we would call is it an orange glows also orange orbs of light that you that yes you orange orange it may take different shapes yes but yes. the color generally is the same yes it An reflects your eyesight is orange yes I, yes I I might have I might have had contact with your ship back when they first started really coming more to the planet in two thousand eight um, yes. It was a, a huge overflow in 2008. Something opened a portal or something, but many more came uh, once we had a new president around that time. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you are accurate in your yes. reasoning. Yes. There is yes. what we call on this side a, uh, a UFO mapping of sightings that are recorded here on the planet. And so I watched how in my sector or where, where, where I'm located, how there was more of an overflow of ships in those months and March and April of the springtime of 2008 and into that year. Uh, it just, there was so many more ships that just mm. really came into the forefront. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking it was either reptilian or a Uyel Yael ship that was there. I wasn't sure. But it was in my area and i did see this five times during that year of 2008 five different occasions yes. in the spring it, into the summer yes yes it is very likely that it was we yell okay because it was a, we were yes. given the or rather delegated the responsibility officially by the humans to observe the light grid. At this point with your new government at that time, they came to understand the importance of the light grid around the planet. Right, right. So there was more of us that arrived on permission to keep a very close eye on this because it affects the humans greatly. Yes. The state of the planet also. We may yes. look to see where there may be an impending disaster. Yes. Or such like. And as it was understood, this was our responsibility. Therefore, there came another group who were to look to our information shared with your government and considered with the disaster in mind and the species was chosen to attempt to minimize the fallout. Understood, yes. So we actually became an important part of the defense of Earth. Yes, yes. We prefer to call it protection. Yes, I understand. However, the humans call it a defense. They liken it to their military terminology. Right, right, right. Yes, yes. yes. Do you have any questions that I might be able to ask, answer? How, so I have your name correctly. How do you pronounce it again with a P? 
Yes, it is Perek. P A R Yes. E K. Perek. Yes. Yes. Yes, I wrote this down. Yes, so I know. So I can identify. Yes, yes. Yes. It's an honor to be with you. Yes. Um, do you still have agreements also with those beings to come to your ships also? Is there certain still working out that? There is protocol everywhere. Yes. 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 There are so many species now. Yes. It is very complex. And the fact that the Great Assembly has just been created has actually yes. simplified things very much as far as security goes for us to interact with each other. Yes. To build the group. Prior yes. to that, yes, there was many levels of security and uh, laws and regulations which we had to follow if we were to contact another ship around your yes. planet. It was a complicated process unless it was a form of delicates from each of these ships going to one of the smaller meetings which yes. those councils now no longer essentially exist. Okay, okay. There is now the Great Assembly, which is the joining of all these councils. Yes, which is beautiful. That's how yes. it should be. Because yes. it, they, 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 they're assistance to one another. It's for, for knowledge, for information, and how to handle things, and who is here first, and how to assess and understand, and to help build the protocols for Earth and transportation. It's beautiful. Yes. 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 It is, it is actually a streamlining of the process of yes. our ability to communicate with each other. Yes. It makes it much more effective. Yes. There is most often at least one other second purpose for every instance that occurs within the alien realms. We are effective and efficient in perhaps doing what you would call killing two birds with one stone. Yes, I understand. And this is a saving of energy. It is a saving of knowledge. It is a sharing. And this is also a unifying experience. And this is the example. I believe Almatok will come to shortly and discuss this with you. It is a great achievement and a reflection of that which we would enjoy viewing on your planet. Yes, uh, I get so much of an energy rush of love and respect and honor of meeting many of you in the physical, the, the, the contracts, the protocols, how we can move beyond these barriers and go into a more of an exchange of ideas and how to help, help uplift uh, the human conditions and the new systems that need to be put in place where it's an easily uh, transistible, a trans, how do you say it, um, transisting period where there's yeah. not so much um, to keep the, uh, the, um, the angers or the hatred of the war to a minimum. Where yes. you know it can slowly re solve these so many solutions to so many problems, yeah. but we have the solutions. But it's are people willing to listen and how to build the protocol and the dialect where it can really touch the human to in such a way that they can reach out and not be afraid for assistance, not be afraid to look within themselves and to yeah. really take more charge and command of of their environment. And to understand what they may, you know, how to proceed in this. This is so important, you know? Yes. Yes, it is. It is very important. And we do not enjoy focusing on these damaging occurrences on your planet. We do what we can. However, nice. there is always free will. Yes, yes. And this may complicate things. We can minimize in, yes. in certain instances. 
uh, even at times where your military equipment suddenly may seem non-functional. Yes. We have actually interfered in that idea at times because of the great vast damage the effect yes. that this use of this weaponry would cause. Yes, because the collective has spoken. There has been many, um, many uh, what you call um, in Europe um, and the continents of war no more. There yes. has been such an outcry of spirits from the human side to say, war no more. We are tired, yes. tired of the, of the self, self-destruction. We, we really, the majority has spoken. They, they're tired of wars, of yes. silly wars of barbarianism that just does not solve problems. Yes. It just creates more and more uh, separation. We are yeah. we are working toward to build a dialogue with extraterrestrials with, to to build a protocol where we can help eliminate these destructive destructive forces of war. Yeah. Because there's no need for that now. There's no yeah. need for this. Yes. We watch as to you for resolution. Yes. There is a saying on your planet, it is much easier to begin war than to cease it. Right, right. And this we observe as very true. Yes. For remnants become active amongst the populace that has been attacked or perhaps there was great mass death of sorts and yes. in the population at that time who perhaps consciously not viewed as reasonable to hold an entire race responsible for the leadership of one country yes. and that damage the people did. Yes. Because I don't think that's fair. That's not balanced. When, when a few take it upon themselves of war proposition, of destruction, but yet the majority of beings are, we are lovingly nature of good and kindness, but yet when we are bombarded by this ideal of we have to destroy or take from another, that's just, that's not, hum deep down inside, that's not what we're really about. Yeah. That's not really who we are. That's just a limited point of view from a few who want to, who have lots of money and wealth that try to dictate to the majority that mm, no war is good, but it's not. Yes, yes, I believe that the pain of death through something such as war, there is diseases that have evolved on your planet and they have been cyclic such as the Great Plague that was also in your early recent century, century uh, there was the advent and introduction of something you referred to AIDS. Yes. There is also prolific cancer. Yes. These are all reflections of the destruction that is going on in your planet. Therefore, there is not only war amongst the people, there is war amongst their own bodies. Yes, that's true. It's not loving themselves. It's something they, they're fearing to look within themselves there's this yes. fear so they're projecting outward of how they feel on the inside yes yes and there is a awakening of sorts to this idea there is so much needless death on your planet right. and as you say enough enough it's been even recorded in the crop circles. Yes. In the crop circles, there's it's the the consciousness of the humanity. Also, it's not only our extraterrestrial friends that are can make this crop circles, but it's our energy of the planet, the Mother Gaia, 
and the formations of consciousness that are also affecting and moving and making these uh, symbols in the crop circles, what we yes. call, yes, in the fields. Yes, yes. There are very deep messages in those crop circles, and they yes. are of fascination to the general population. However, there are several who tend to be what you call pilots, Yes. Who will get into their planes and fly above and take images using white spectrum photography also ah. and return with them and study them from the aerial view because obviously from that viewpoint they look completely different. Okay, yes. So there are those on your planet who are able to translate the crop circles very efficiently. Yes. They are also ones who have much power. Yes, I understand. It is an attempt at communication. It is an attempt at also expressing that there is sizable alien population around your planet. Yes. This is reflected yes. in the size. You may have noticed over recent years the crop circles are becoming bigger and bigger. Yes. <laughs> Which is and much makes it much right. more harder which makes it much more harder for forgery. Yes, <laughs> this is part of it. However, those who are to receive this information are fully aware of the ones that are what you call fake. Yes, yes. They may differentiate them very easily. Yes, they're so integrated. It's so beautiful, the tapestry of of, of, of how you see these these intricate uh, patterns of multi-dimensionality that's yes. what I see when I look within it I see a multi-dimensionality yes. and as I mentioned to you just a moment ago the analogy of killing two birds with one stone one crop right. circle may have several messages within it yes yes that's brilliant always efficient always yes. effective and efficient i would say yes. to you just as a kind gentle tip for your future that yes. any communication that comes from aliens around your planet please look for more than one perception there will always be at least one instance of duality perhaps up to, I believe, the most ever messages in one crop circle was 14. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yes. So just perhaps out of interest for yourself, when do you view communications you believe you have come from us? Yes. Be mindful. Look yes. a little deeper. Look a little further. It will give you your brain some time to be active and encompass your psychic ability and your telepathic ability as well. Yes, it's beautiful, my friend. Beautiful. Yes. 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 I must leave now. For you and your civilization, the Yael, thank you. Much love and light. Love and light to you, my friends. Thank you. We wish you much joy on your visit. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste, dear one. Mm-hmm.
Brian, dear friend. Hello, my friend. This is Alma Talk. Yes, greetings, Alma Talk. Greetings. I'm excited. <laughs> so I believe. <laughs> yes, for good reason. Yes, something I've yes. been waiting for a long, long time. Yes. I could not allow this visitation to go past without coming to visit you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yes. There were some references that you made to Parek Dosen, and he felt it was more appropriate if I was to perhaps elaborate myself. Yes. Because they were encompassing the spiritual realm also. Yes. Yes. Definitely. The example that he gave of the crop circles was a very effective one. Yes. He is actually active in where the placement of the crop circles are made. Wow. Interesting. Mm. Yes. A part yes. of the light. It's a part of a, a multi-dimensional force that moves in and out. It's very fascinating, but these mm -hmm. these key places in the grid, I, I understand, yes. 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 It is purposeful, and there are times that we would prefer to be in other parts of your planet, however, it's simply not possible. Yes. It just means that we need to put a little effort into contacting the ones that the message is actually for. Yes. That the message will be translated by. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And this involves yes. the spiritual realm very much. Yes. 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 There are many spiritual beings on your planet who may look to these crop circles yes. and understand the depths and the dimensions of the message. Yes. It, is, it, is, it appears a two-dimensional picture. Yes, but it's brilliant. It's actually it's a far it's higher dimension. Multi-dimensional, yes. yes. Yes, yes, yes. Because when you look at it from different angles, from perceptions, from point of views, you see a different message. Yes. You see and a different message. And this is exactly Multi the purpose, yes. Multi-layered. Yes. Yes. Brilliant. And if you were to spend time, Ryan, yourself, yes. studying yes. them, you would yes. glean much of the messages. I see when I look into some of these, I see a manifested spiritual. I see a multi-layered, yes. um, something evolving that gravitation um, planets, planetary systems sometimes in them. I see a uh, just this this this. Uh, it's almost like a stargate, like a portal mm. activated. Um, when mm. the energy is placed on the planet, there's a residence left around that area. Um, yes. uh, Multi-dimensional, it's kind of like magnetic, but something with magnetism too. Yes, it's an auric field. Yes, yes, a resonation, mm. yes. Yes. And it's felt, it's felt by many who walk into these circles. Yes. They, they pick up a frequency, even when they record the sound of vibration that comes from that area. Yes. And it's much that they are not able to actually record at this time. They simply do not have the technology. Yes. And that does not mean that the use and enrollment of using this technology is a waste of time. Exactly. Exactly. It is because, still a deliberate yes. exercise. Yes, it is a, a practicing yes, of too. internalizing and translating what these messages actually mean. Right. So sometimes right. they may not be very deep messages, but the right. idea is that the humans are practicing gleaning what the messages are. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. 
That's it's, fascinating. Those that are most interested by them are those that are able to interpret them. Yes, yes. Mm. Yeah, my, yeah, my excitement, yes, my excitement is the, um, is more of being an ambassador, an emissary of light, just to be able to yeah. have an open dialogue, to build the protocols between the extraterrestrials and the human, uh, you know, myself. But yet yeah. my spirits, my manifested spirit, that's what uh, takes more of a guidance for me. It, it's yeah. more guiding me toward this, you know, to be that reaching out and helping cultures understand one another where we can break down many of these barriers. Yes. And I would say to you, Brian, this is another thing I wanted to elaborate on that Parak mentioned, is the formation of the Great Assembly. Yes, the I'm great excited about this. The Great Assembly is so much more effective in delivering information. It is so much more effective in actually creating and addressing the ideas of so many planets. Yes. Yes. Not just Earth. Yes. Information yes. from all over the multiverses, all united yes. in one place. Yes, it yes, must be and moderated. Share. Yes, and share the information. Working. Yes. Yes, and therefore the information that comes from this massive unified group will be much less yes. cryptic. Yes, yes, that's what I'm. I'm hoping it's it's where we can really reach out and not feel yeah. um, we're alone in the universe anymore. There, there's a really a stronger bond with extraterrestrial and human and spirit. It's all a part of yes. it. Yes, a co-creation. Yes. Yes. yes, very, very, very much. It is a very important point you just made that the spirit realm has been identified as being just as yes. is important, is important as the yes. incarnated ones. Yes, mm. yes, because it, it is so, it's a part of us, yes. Yes, it, it is also as the example that I give that the humans work alongside the aliens and that this be effective yeah. in manifestation and techniques that I have spoken of before in this way. Also, yes. the spirit realm to be able to be integrated in here as well. Yes, very they important. They do not take very mass, important. so I deliberately put this space in this area. Yes. But there are three. Because three it brings a balance. Realities. Working yes, on the same create, issues. Yes, yes. Mm. As much as we are teachers to the universe, they are teaching us also to remember who we are and how yes. we can integrate the universe. Yes. Yes, and to look, truly look to equality. Yes, for all. Yes. 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 And all is the goal. All is source. Yes. So you said it yes. very well and simply. Yes. It is. And it's, it's, it is actually yes, to, to make it less complicated and easier to understand. <laughs> and this because reflection. once we have this, yes. yes. This reflection of the Great Assembly is something that we hope that planets such as, as yours will now yes. look towards and understand that this is a yes. massive disclosure of information yes. that is forming yes. unity. Yes. And this and is because what my message has been about for the audience. Yes. And, and, and also it assists on helping with the removal of the war tendencies to help yes. get, to weed that out to weed yes. out this, this barbarianism this 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 the the hatred to look at the shadow sides of ourselves that's where our spirit's so important that's yes. why spirit is so important to help we yes. understand these these the dualities but to really make it into a unity 
Yes. Yes, and I believe you yourself have first-hand experience with your own sons. The children yes. being born into the planet at this time and further. Yes. They are yes. all evolutionary beings. They have done much growth and they are coming into the planet with great knowledge and the ability for very relatively quick evolution of the spirit realm. Yes. So it's they are so integrating important. more effectively with spirit and alien. Yes. This be, is cohesive. Because it shouldn't that, Right. Make it more of a unified field because there shouldn't yes. this the separation of, of spirit realm and extraterrestrial and the celestial, it should be more a unified field because it, 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 it's a sharing of knowledge, of wisdom, and appreciation yes. for all that's playing a part of it. Yes. Yes. And may I also say to you, Brian, it is yes. not the, the design of the Galacti that beings right. actually do die. I know and understand this is a huge statement to make. Right. Yes, However, right. with the idea of source being a unified state yes. and that are beings such as Kim in her mass carrying source with her as she passes and yes. takes her source with her, she leaves behind damaged shards of source through pain and through grief and through separation. These, these experiences for the human yes. are overwhelmingly a collective that is playing out in your planet at this time as war. Okay, I understand that. It yeah, is yeah. the separation, yes. Yes. Now, if you were to take the idea that war no longer existed due to these beings that are being born onto the earth now, including your hybrid children. Yes. They will be a part of this. Yes. The world not, will not, be eradicated of war. Meaning, um, not knowing that war can be a probability, not to say that it can be, um, how do you say, this is where the wisdom comes in. Um, that it that it's probable that it can happen that's a free will choice of yes. a human to have a war but yet it's not chosen yes, because they exactly. see mm, the free will choice is it's still there the freedom is always there but yet it's not chosen the war is no longer chosen because yes. it they see the aftermath of it they see that there's no yes. true really for the human benefit of war that's yes, why we say and war no more. Yes. That is caused by war is overwhelming. Right. And even though that if among a species there's still this um there's a, a differences of opinion, that will always be, but yet yes. they're still they're 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 the humanity gets to a point of view with the integration of extraterrestrials that there there's no need for um, this push so much. There's no need mm. for where war is chosen because they see that it's no longer needed. It doesn't serve the humanity in a way that it might once mm. did. But there's no really reason for that. There's that mm. it's chosen that it's not chosen no more. War is not chosen because it is. It doesn't unify. It doesn't truly unify. Yes. It's still there's a separation of a greater than and less than. Yes. There's a need that uh, something's taken away from somebody that someone has to to go after. 
they're, they're, so it will not be chosen in the heart of man and mankind. That yeah. it's, it's, even though it's there for a free will choice, but yet it's not chosen no more. And it will come to a time where it is not even considered as yes. a choice in how to communicate between each of the countries. So the upliftment. Now we understand why telepathy is so needed for humanity. Mm. This, yes. this being of energy to over envelop the earth in such a way mm. where it is the memory of the soul essence that, that in the DNA is activated where they feel that they don't need to be aggressive in a, such a way to yes. cause war. You know, this is, more this is the balance. true reflection of what yes. source is within yes. each other as individuals. Yes. There's, we can still see each other as an, an individuality, but appreciate the unity of, of yes. telepathy. Yes. 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 And the unity that we actually are united throughout the galactic. The yes. recognition that there is something larger than the individual yes. issues on earth which are causing vast pain. Yes. It is yes. distressing and it is spreading. And if you can imagine this as being an energy, even yes. on a small scale on your planet, it is a powerful one. When you shoot off one of your weapons, Yes. The energy and the impact that is required to do that. Yes. It simply just disperses everywhere. Where it lands is anybody's guess. Right. Where the right. damage lays is anybody's guess. What eventually will happen with these new beings being born into the planet and becoming adults and becoming the decision makers for your communities and also the integration of the idea of the great assembly and the acknowledgement that there is regular contact, it is friendly contact. It becomes and the new natural. It becomes, it becomes the co-creation. Yes. yes. It becomes then, intertwined and integrated. Yes. Yes. And you can see Earth and its population being, in a sense, absorbed into this whole of peace and love yes. and unity and source. No more pain of separating spirit groups. Exactly. Exactly. This this is a point in your evolution on this planet. There is another one I would like to share at this point. Yes. The idea that death as you know it is not necessary. And as such, grief and all it encompasses that is so painful and so deep. Yes. That is an indicator that it is not for the good of the human. It is not designed for the well being of the human. What I've heard before about these bodies, these these temporal, the, this this the physicality of the the bubble of biology, um, is that these bodies were actually designed to live for many centuries. Yes. To live for thousands and thousands of years, even. Yes. I think around ten thousand years. I've heard one channel bring through. Yes. These Every bodies were really built for that. Yes. Every seven years, your entire body is regrown. Okay. Effectively, you do not need to age. Yes. Is it the, just the pollution that is the deteriorating the, the, the telomeres and the DNA, something that's shortening them? It, it seems like something's, mm, there's a, something shortening within the DNA strands, it just causes us to age very quickly. It is actually far easier than that. It is the disconnection of spirit. Ah, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Your scientists so look to other realms and other ways 
to look to heal illnesses where That's illnesses true. should not be in the first place. Yes, I've heard and of this. That your doctors deal with the symptoms rather than the cause. Right. That's very rare. They would look to the cause being something as spiritual and looking at the resonance and congruency of the individual yes, who the is unwell. Yes, the mental and the emotional. Yes. It, it, is, it starts from the energetic of the body. And yes, then it's the manifested. Yes, it's manifested into the, into the physicality of the body. So it, it is an energetic resonance that's something if when we're in a bad mood or we're real negative toward each other, it mm -hmm. brings down this vibration and it can manifest as an element or what you call ailment uh, mm -hmm. in the body. Yes, yes like disease, yes. Yes, a disease, as you said, yes. yes. It is it disease within the body. And okay. this is an indicator. It is actually your body communicating with you yes, that there's something not aligned. Yes, the innate. It's like yes. you're right. These bodies can regenerate and, and, and activate. It, it, it's really us talking with our bodies. We, yes. It's so simple. It's, but it's so simple that many of us don't do it <laughs> because yes. it's, it's, it's the simplicity. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's the simplicity. Exactly. It's almost too easy. <laughs> too easy. So why hmm. should we even try? Because that, that's just not. Then it becomes, ah, oh, that's just impossible. It's just, yes. oh, that's too easy. Humans and are so common. It's much more interesting to look to things such as DNA yes. and chemical treatments yes. and all these other alternatives yes. where the, the reality actually is that the treatment for the individual that is required will be exclusive to themselves. This is something that your science is slowly coming to understand. You may take a group of humans who suffer from the same ailment. Yes. Now, you may medicate each of them in exactly the same way. But their reaction will be different for each exactly. one. Exactly. And the reason for that is because they are looking to the group as a collective of a disease. They are ah. not looking to the makeup of the individual. I understand now. Yes. Once they start to look at the makeup of the individual, yes. cure will become far easier. Yes. Any yes. disease on your planet, once it is appreciated, right. yes, yes, and yes. embraced, that it is an individual human in its greatness suffering yes why would the next human to would be diagnosed with the same the thing same. why would you believe that they are suffering the same as the one you diagnosed yesterday because and their yes, energetics treat would be them different. the same way with the same medicines yes i understand that's why what what's you're you're spot on. What works for one group of people or one for one individual, a medication yeah. will not work for the other. Yes. 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 Exactly. And it's always healthier to go more homeopathic instead of the the over the counter type medications because it's mm -hmm. so much mercury and the heavy elements and the, the, the heavy metals that really do mm, affect the body a little bit more negatively, you know, than the yeah. reaction of the body. So yeah. yes, it's it's more of the organics and the purification, the detoxification of the body, which, which would be benefit for the human, yes. Yes, and also the purity of the, the connection to source. The yes. Well. I keep Not forgetting this sometimes, you're right. Mm. Yes, it manifested spiritual, the connection more with the yeah. higher self that can override sometimes, and I'm saying override, but more of a melting of the, of yeah. the human, which, which really, mm, really lifts the spirit and, and it's this infusion of more of higher self and, and the physicality of the body, which will create uh, an energy with the innate of the body, which can mm. live which causes the body to live and not to age yes. as quickly. Yes. yes, 
and experience less pain in their lifetime, less pain through grief, less pain through loss, and yes. that therefore then allows for spiritual evolution. Yes, brilliant. Yes, Rather the spiritual than evolution. To must death be, yes. being part of the spiritual evolution. Right, I understand. Yes. Yes, and, and that's another thing humans want to do. We, we want to, when we, when we cast off feet of clay, as they say, and you move from one uh, realm to another, or from one planet to another, an evolutionary mm. state. We, uh, the humans, when we come into these bodies, uh, uh, what we call we have uh, amnesia, but we forget. We want to remember more. We yes. want to remember th these lifetimes sometimes, but we understand why it has to, especially for this planet being a testing area, that mm -hmm. we don't remember everything all at once because it yes. would be it wouldn't be new anymore. We wouldn't experience yes. something for new, the newness. So yes. I do understand that. And there are occasions, and and this is cyclic as well. This is a cycle that can come to an end. However, there are occasions, especially when there is young children, and this is happening more and more recently, young children, even in utero, are being di diagnosed with these diseases right. before they're even born. Wow. So their individuality and their understanding that they're no longer part of the mother Yes. Oftentimes, they do not reach even that level. They will pass. Now, in these instances, even in what you call miscarriage, yes. they are actually spirits which really only have remnants of lifetimes they need to experience. Yes, I understand. No, yes. This is the limitation, yes. This is the only requirement needed of them at this time. Perhaps they agreed to play this role for a lesson for the parents. It could be yes, many so it variables. Was a design. It was a design plan overall for this to take yes. place. I understand. Yes. 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 So where it is your young that are becoming ill? It is generally something from a prior life that has not been cleared and something that it may well be treated, but right, whilst right. disease is looked upon as a name, almost as a collective of a group, there will right. not be great movements forward in your cure rates. Once these children are looked at as individuals, however, and their yes. DNA understood and their spirit realm healed, yes. the yes. cure yes. rate will rise. Wonderful. Yes. So this is something, again, about the idea of disclosure bringing yes. unity. Yes. Unity, finally. Less pain, yes. less grief. Yes. 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 And for the it humans makes, to understand that these things are not the natural state, that this is actually another infliction, for want of a better word. That they have placed upon yes. themselves through denial. Yes, yes, of the spirit. Yes. Yes. It is a vast yes. jump to come to that conclusion. But at some point, yes. and perhaps this point is now, it must begin. Yes. Yes, it, it must be. Because without that spiritual acknowledgement, it's still, it, the, 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 separation still goes on yes yes it's moving more where you can still enjoy the individuality and see how this manifested spirit it's it's a really an infusion and an allowance yes 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 there is much learning still to be done however if it is not identified that there is learning to be done, if it is not right. identified that perhaps there is another direction to look, 
then yes. it will not happen. So there are respected people on your planet who are the ones who have the choice whether or not to step up and announce to the world that we are mistreating our populace with our chemicals, with our medicines, and this needs to change. The scientists need to look outside of this intricate little box that they live in. Yes, yes. And come then, together as unity instead of seeing themselves as separate, this scientist over here or that scientist over there. Really yes. join together and come up with the solutions, which they already yes. have. Yes. But it's really intim integrating. It's really implementing yes. these and going beyond the status quo of control and, and what others think and do what's best for you, humanity. Yes. yes. Do and for this the greater all relates back to the idea of the chip with the site to site visitation and those yes. who are looking to ask for healing. Yes. Yes. The question is rhetorically and honestly to the self, how much really does it serve that individual to have the chip inserted being hopeful that they will receive healing when they have their site to site visitation? It is not realistic until the humans can understand that healing is an individual process it makes it very complicated for aliens to step in and treat the individual and this information shared amongst your doctors and your scientists right now would simply confuse them I they are not ready to receive this information right because they and have to think yes yes they have to think differently and this is one reason why healing on the site to site visitation should it go ahead of the way that is being discussed now right. healing will not be an option it is actually and this is ironic but sharing that technology the alien technology to heal with the humans will actually create more death for the humans. I understand why. I do understand that. Yes. I do understand that. because the technologies can be misguided in in a way that they use it more for a control instead of allowance. Yes. Yes. And and sadly currency. Yes, that too. I agree. Mm. Yes. So I wish to share this with you uh, at Thank this you. time. Uh, Brian, you are wonderful, as I have said, to speak with, and I respect you dearly and greatly. Yes. And I know you would understand this information, and I thank you for listening. I am so, thank you, my so much in love with the Pleiadian energy. Yes. Yes. Yes, they are in love with you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amato. You are welcome. Blessings and much love, my dear friends. Much love. Until next time. Namaste. I'll bring Kim back. Okay. Oh, hi, Brian. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just relax, grab something to drink. That was really good. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Good. I love it. 
yes it was a, it was magnificent uh just the information that comes through is it's so helpful it's so useful to mm -hmm. to this planet it's needed very much so mm -hmm. now i know why ama talk chose you really yes why yes. i can't tell you that that's something you have to figure out <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> need to hear these things. Because yeah, so many well. people need hope. They need hope. It has just occurred to me. I really, really do need to thank you. Because we worked all this out before we got here. Yeah. And you have stepped up for me. Like you said you would. And I thank you. And I love I you. Love you too. It's it means so and much love, to me coming from you too. You and know, you love your dancing. They love Alma Talk or uh, what do you say? Yes, but um more than ever, um Hindu. <laughs> the Pleiadians love your music and your dancing. <laughs> oh God, they didn't tell you, did they? <laughs> yep. They put you on the hot seat. <laughs> Now he I said she does all kinds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't edit that part. It's my great. friend, and I'll let you go, and you can stop the broadcast. Oh, gosh, yes. yes. <laughs> all right. Well, we can just say goodbye now, and I'll stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Much love. What's up, Brian?